Hey guys, welcome back to another P3D video. Welcome uh, to Mauritius. Um, a different type of video today. As you can see, there's four British Airways 777s on the ground. One of them being me over there in the end. Um, doing a little group flight on Vatsim. Uh, obviously, I'm recording it, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're returning the BA 777s from Mauritius to uh, Gatwick, which is the, uh, the flight number of BA uh, 2062. Um, so obviously you've got me on the end, here's Ollie, you've got James and Addy. I don't know if anyone else will be joining. Uh, I did make a notification on uh, Discord and YouTube, so maybe we'll get some more people. Uh, Sped's time of departure is actually in 30 minutes from now, so uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. As you can see, I'm part to stand number 10. Um, what I found that's quite annoying with that sim is the strobes, but what's really weird is only Ollie and Addy have got their strobes on. But for some reason, James is like chilling with the strobes off, which is obviously perfect, <laughs> which is really weird. Obviously, we're flying the uh, the PMDG 200ER variant, the new one, the newly released expensive thing um, <laughs> with the Rolls Royce engines, as you can see there. And uh, let's go and get shows on the road. Um, obviously, we need to go and get some power, so we need to go to the FMC and uh, get the torch on so I can see. And uh, we'll go and request ground power and air conditioning unit. Get the battery on. And this should be available very soon. And we can go and get the dome light on. And we can turn off our, our light there. Awesome. Get the Navin logo light on. ADI is on. I will arm the emergency lights. Like so. And uh, we'll get the packs on. Hydraulics and everything else can stay as is for now. Uh, let's go to data load. Let me go and load it. Oh, no, okay, it's fine. It's done it. I didn't need to do a data load, apparently. Awesome. Um, oh, I was about to show you the time, but then I need to wait for it to properly start up. Let me go and set hectopascals on these displays here and there. And I was about to set the QNH, but the QNH right now in Mauritius is 1013. Um, which is pretty cool. Someone is lighting me up. I'm not too sure what it is. But something is. Uh, something from the terminal? I don't know. But it's lighting up everything here. Oh, it's the bus? That's awesome. I thought it was some someone with like default scenery or something. No, it's the bus. That was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I like that. Um, Right, FMC, FMC, nav database uh, 2102, uh, two, which is current and correct. And uh, we'll put in the iCal for Mauritius, which is FIMP, and we'll wait for the GPS position to come through, which hopefully won't be too long from now. Um, to get GSX up and running, we need to go into the parking brake, and I'll go and get myself on Junior Hopefully, those people are not being trolls. If they are trolling, then luckily V-Pilot comes through a separate uh, audio channel, so I can just mute them <laughs> per in the editing part of the video. Right, as you can see, we just passed uh, 8 o'clock Zulu, so um, we've got plenty of time until time of departure, which is good. Obviously, it's night time here in Mauritius, so it's 8 p.m. UK time, which makes it, um, I think it's just on past midnight then, here in Mauritius. Let me just verify that with the sim. Go to time and season here. There you go, it's just gone past midnight here in Mauritius. And, uh, it, and it's 26 degrees Celsius. <laughs> wow. Uh, five minutes to IRS alignment, that's good. Uh, we'll go to the route request, and we'll go and request uh, the, this route, which is this one here. Request it, like so. This side we'll, keep, uh, we'll get that onto the legs page, and down here we'll go and get uh, we'll go and get catering requested. Uh, new rest, I don't know. Uh, it's doing the Mauritius for the uh, for the passengers. We'll go and set two thousand on the squawk, like so, and weather turbulence and get like that. Awesome, right? Let's go to the doors page. Let's just go and open up the cargo doors, because why not? Uh, be ready for when you go and request boarding. We get to the fuel page here. We can put in our fuel. 
which is uh, 87.3 tons, which is almost 70% uh, fuel level, which is nice. Well, that's a heavy departure today. And uh, we get to the payload, and we've got a zero fuel weight of 175 tons and uh, 300 kilos. So, which totals us up to 155 uh, passengers in economy, 20 in business, and 12 in first class, which is 195 people on our return flight today back to Gatters, or Gatwick, London Gatwick, um, the most annoying airport in the world. Um, <laughs> so, let's go and request boarding. 195, and we'll bring the jetway to the door, two left, like so. Therefore, if you bring the door to two left, it means um, business and first class passengers can actually go to there. Oh, uh, actually no, it says, oh, no business classes on this side. Okay then. I, uh, I was going to say, if you put the door to one left, then all the economy plebs um, have to walk past the first class, which, uh, which obviously the first class people don't like. <laughs> right, that's obviously not true. I hope. <laughs> Right, if we go to, uh, let's go to terminal charts, and we'll go, with, I'll always click the load button here, and uh, then it'll be able to see, oh no, we need to activate it as well, we won't when it's done, um, and we need to open up the doors, so we'll disarm all doors, open up that door, open up the catering doors, and right, one four for departure runway. And we are Speedbird um, 2062 for our flight number. Activate Execute for those who want to fly the route. Obviously, you'll be not be with our group flight. Uh, but if you want to go fly a, a Mauritius route, um, Mauritius to Gatwick, then here's our route. You can go and copy and paste it. Just pause the video and uh, copy it into your FMC. Perfect. It. We'll leave that there. Go and click Use Airports from FMS. So, FIMP to uh, Gatwick. And uh, we're going to edit clip here. If we go to this page, and if I do uh, runny pushback, yeah, this 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 checklist, I want to go through here. And on our departure, we want, we are doing, even, uh, the Nisbiz 1, which is this chart here. So complete that, like so. If we go over, ooh, page up, no, page down to the bottom one here. You can see this is our procedure for departing in a 1 4. We're coming from stand 10. So we need to go and exit. Ah, I think this means we can exit out of any of these. What does it say? Golf? November Golf, Yankee, and Foxtrot. So, yeah, okay. I think it means. I'm not too sure which, in which order does it say it. November Golf, Yankee, Foxtrot. So I think we need to push back facing east. And then we go November, Golf, Yankee and Foxtrot for our departure out of 1-4, which is this runway here. There's a massive backtrack. Uh, if we go up here, you can see the backtrack we're going to be doing. Um, we may not have to do that. We may not have to, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that'll be our our taxi, which is good actually, because this means uh, these lot can push back in the normal direction, or even push back, um, oh, I don't know, I, I could probably check the chart and see what their official pushback uh, thing is, but for us, apparently it's, I'm guessing it means, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing it means, um, which one am I looking at, yeah, Golf, Yankee, Foxtrot. I don't know. But it says it may also exit, which I'm guessing it means. No, I don't know. Also. Ah, oh, who knows? <laughs> ah, I've just realised what it means. 10 and 11 is included in the one above, which they can taxi November, Foxtrot, and Alpha, which uh, actually can just go like that way. I've just realised what that means. Um. But if I do push back facing east, then that means the person will stand 11, which is Ollie. He can also... I don't know. 
I'm trying to figure out a way we can push back. I can probably push back. I'm trying to think here. Maybe I'll push back straight into Yankee. I'll probably go down here because these lot will push back facing towards the um, the west here, northwest, uh, for Adu, pointing up the Papa. I'll actually push back straight up, straight down Gulf and face towards the west on uh, on Yankee there. That's my, that'll be my pushback. That'll be my pushback. Uh, right, let's close up the catering doors because that's done. Double at zero if you're waiting there. And uh, final reserve for our flight is a 2.5. Cruising attitude initially will be cruising at 340. Cost index of 57. Step size, I'll set my own, so I'll put that in the zero. And we'll go and put the departure in. So 14. And, and, and as I said, with Nisbis, one departure. Like so. Go and root data and request the wind like that. Let's go over to this menu and performance. Copy FMC data. Condition is dry right now. Somehow. The, uh, the weather is lovely, that the um, temperature is not 25, it's 26 degrees. Um, yeah, crazy. 130 at 9 knots is the wind. Uh, so 9 knot headwind, 2 knot plus wind, perfect. Q and HB 1013. Uh, Obviously, uh, BA and new D rates, so just do D rate uh, nothing. <laughs> but we'll get a selector. And. Uh, We'll put optimum on the flat, packs auto, and engine and wing auto. And calculate that. And uh, you can see it's given us a select temperature 46. But what I want to go and do is go to no tabs. And if I open up my Google Maps, and if I search um, Mauritius on Google Maps, I can actually go to the runway and measure the distance. Um, if we were to take off from Alpha, right, how do I go back? Um, I think I need to click cancel first. If we go to terminal charts and page up here. Ah, I don't need to do the calculation because it's got it right here. Awesome. Okay. Annoying enough. So it says if we take off from Alpha, it would be 2,690 meters of, uh, of a runway. And obviously, we know that the runway length is 370. So, if I do some maths using Google and take 2,690 off that, it's 680 meters. So, if we depart from Alpha, we'll be cutting off 680 meters from the shortening of the start there. So, uh, we'll go and complete. And now, there we go. We have now tricked the EFB, I guess, in saying um, we've got a shortened runway, so calculate, and here we go, this is our departure, out of Alpha. So select temper 30 degrees, V1 was 150, rotating at 158, and our V2 is 165, flap 5. Okay, uh, one day to upload is ready, let's slow that. So, Set temp oh, is it 30? I've forgotten already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 30. And we'll slow that in and we'll go to the descent forecast as well. And uh, take off CG, you can double click in, set flat 5, and go and set in the weather. So uh, 130 at 9 knots, 0, 26, and the uh, reference outside air temperature. Do these speeds match? 150, 158, 165. Yes, they do. Awesome. That's what I want to see. Right, let's go and test the oxygen. That's tested on that side, and maybe on this side. Beautiful. So we go to the checklist page. That's tested. Flight instruments. Um, so heading is 227, which is red on um, the displays there, which is good. And the altimeter is 1013, giving us 200 feet there, 200 feet there, and 200 feet there, which is awesome. Two. <laughs> right, before start checklist, flight deck doors closed and locked. We need to get the passenger signs turned on, good point, and we'll get the EP powered up as well, actually. Um, MCP, so we'll set 165 as our V2 into here. Runway heading for 14. Let's go over to the EFB. Terminal charts. 
runway heading is 136 degrees, so I'll set that. Oh, wrong way. 136. And if we go over to here, we can see our initial climb. Um, I saw I just saw something that said initial climb, but I don't think there is one. So what we'll do, we'll put in the uh, transition altitude of 4,000 in here. Get the flight directors on, and we'll set up the uh, ND, so we'll get the VORs on both sides. This side can go 40 nautical miles of traffic, data, and terrain. This 10 nautical miles of traffic and data, and we'll get the weather radar on uh, at the brand new angle. So we don't want to turn it on now because we fry everyone's brains uh, after a short time of having it turned on. Which is, uh, I guess, it's bad, obviously. Uh, NCV is done. Takeoff speed is 150, 158, 165. CDP latch is complete. Uh, trim, no hydraulics, so that doesn't really matter. It's fine. We will be setting 6.25 uh, once we've finished our startup. Uh, taxi takeoff briefing. Well, we just I uh, told you about our taxi, so what we're going to do is going to push back. Uh, let's go down to the stand. Gonna push back straight through Gulf and then uh, land ourselves up on Yankee, uh, facing towards the west. And we'll taxi down Yan uh, Yankee, Fox Shot, and then we'll take off out of Alpha. Um, like that. Departure wise, we'll just follow the SID and uh, climb to our cruise altitude of 3. Uh, four zero. That's good. Big light will stay off for now. Right, let's go over and do the step climbs, shall we? So at waypoint Delta Victor, we'll be going to three six zero, and waypoint Aressa, we'll be going to three eight zero. I can find it. There we go. 380. And waypoint Rinnell up to uh, 400, which will be our final cruising altitude of today's flight. I guess it's also, whilst today in terms of Mauritius time, but in Mauritius time it's uh, today and tomorrow. <laughs> nice. Nice to see a nice convoy of a BA 777s. I'm thankful that I haven't got a load of people online, uh, thankfully, and no, no meme, no memes, no trolls. <laughs> I see the APU's powered up, which is good, so we can go and get the uh, excellent power cleared off, and uh, we can go to ground connections, and release that and release that. Keep the wheel chocks on, though. Cool. All right. I think I'll just let uh, some time pass. Uh, I guess we could say we can pretend to be like the real world, so our slot time only allows us to be pushing back at uh, 8.25, which is 10 minutes from now. So uh, what I'll go and do, what I will go and do, I'll skip the video and I'll see you in a, in a couple of minutes until our pushback time. Hopefully the boarding's done and we'll get our doors closed up then and we'll go and request our pushback. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a couple of minutes couple seconds even, not minutes. Okay, welcome back. GSX is getting a little bit angry about me not closing the doors, so let's go and do that. <laughs> and uh, let's remove the chops as well. And uh, close all doors, and let's go and request uh, prepare for pushback. Awesome. Yes. So I've just talked to the other guys off, uh, off camera, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, my intentions are still as, as of what I said, so yeah. I'm going to go back on uh, through Gulf and then onto Yankee and face that direction uh, towards the runway. Which is all good. Let's go get the big light on. And let's go and get some light set up, shall we? Ready for departure. Ground to cockpit. The target is connecting now, so we'll be pushing back in just a couple of minutes. Confirm parking brake is set, please. Oh, cool. Right. And it's armed back. All good. Okay, all doors are shut. Everything's all good. A cars, I'll do. Um, Locking the gear now. Just before takeoff. All right. Hopefully, uh, it'll soon give us uh, a pop-up saying we can select our pushback. 
tick off that checklist and we'll set the engine page ready for startup. Right, quick edit. So, if I go and select that like so, swing you around, and set that as a pushback node. If I can click it there, there we go. There we go. Pushback sources. Target in position and bypass pin is inserted. Ready to push. Apron is clear. Release parking brake. Alright. So let's go and start the timer. And uh, we're all good to go. AP's running so that we can go and release the parking brake. Cool. Let's just go into the other guys I'm pushing. Traffic is going to be 2070 heavy, I'll push back and stand 13 is in quality. And it's got ahead of me. And it's 2062 heavy, it's pushing back 10. Cool, right. Don't like can go off. And uh, all the hydraulics onto auto and those ones on. Fuel pumps all on. And oh, I'm trying to say on and off. Do you have fuel in the center? Okay, good. And uh, we can start number two. I'm not too sure. Obviously, in the GEs, the GE 90s, which I'm used to, um, we bring in the fuel straight away. But I don't know if it's a different situation with the uh, with the Rolls Royces. Um, so I'm just going to do them straight away, as as you just saw. Um, right. Let's go and put in everything oh, like so. And. Uh, not in database, that's because I've typed it wrong. I thought the L was an yeah. <laughs> I. Okay, uh, there we go. I spent time departure. It was 2030. Uh, I spent time on the is just under 12 hours at 45. Airline ID is BA. And now we can go and connect that. Sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, the startup sounds in Rolls Royce is uh, either bugged or very quiet. <laughs> It gets louder. It does get louder. You start to hear it now. That's awesome. Right. Number one, start switch. Bring in the film. Good. So there's uh, Ollie, James, and Addy all pushing back now, which is awesome. These lights seem dimmer than they used to be, which is weird. Definitely got some work from outside there, these engines. Alright, let's go to the, uh, the taxi. This, this chart. Cool. Ah, they got these shoes just like going crazy. <laughs> Awesome. And there we are, he's golf. Not golf, uh, what's it? Yankee, yes. That was golf, just that little bit here is golf, literally. These couple of meters of golf is the golf taxiway. Anyway, um, I just had the start switch closed to normal. Um, generators are all running, so AP can go off. And. Uh, Go and do a flight control check once so pushback is complete. Lowly once it's complete. Except trim though, 6.25. Pushback complete. Oh, there we go. Set the parking brake down. Parking brake is set. Confirm. So 6.25 is set. And we are flight control check. So full left. Full right. All the way down. And all the way up. Rudder all the way to the left and to the right. Awesome. Black draw check is complete. Go to the check this page. Anti ice, yes, not needed. Motion traffic, speed back to you, 70 heavy taxing runway 14 via Hotel Yankee. Okay, he's going to come up behind us, um, so uh, we need to Actually get moving. Auto break. Clear. RTO, black draw checked. Just waiting for ground equipment to be cleared up. Or cleared up, get clear. Even. Right, flat 5. Good. And we get the text. I don't know. We need to wait for him to get out of the way. We'll turn off something. Where's that little dude? I don't know where he is. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Give us a wave goodbye soon. It's flapstick forever to come out. 
I've only just managed to get flat clear by left okay. right. it's connecting now. Have right, let's go as right, it's clear. Bye so we'll take off that. Before take off, the checklist is complete too. And uh, we'll clear off the checklist. Like that. Alright. So let's have a good trip. We're going to wait for him to get on the, the tug. And then we'll be able to uh, move out, roll out. <laughs> Zoli. So that's his push. He's going to be coming round uh, back up golf here. Which is what I explained towards the start of the video. And then I realised he could also just taxi straight out like that. Okay. Right, tax light on, parking rate released, let's get going. Speedbird 2062 Heavy, taxiing via Yankee, Oxford and Alpha for departure at 1 4. Don't know how much power we need, but we're whacking a load to get us moving. And uh, once we're at 10 knots or so, I'll bring it right down. Cool. And Ollie just seems decides to get a little bit close there. <laughs> is that James still pushing? Or is it taxi? I can't tell. I think it's taxi. Awesome. Our little Probably oh, triple seven. <laughs> Don't know if that's even the right word. Um, right. So as discussed, this is just Alpha here, taxing very slow. I said once you get to ten knots and slow right down, but I think I idled the engine a bit too much there. Let's bring it in a little bit more. But we do have a turn now when we go around this uh, corner at the same speeds. There's an ATR in the hangar there. There's always a, uh, an A340 uh, and Russia's in that massive hangar. Don't know why, there's always one in there. Obviously in the charts it says Bravo has uh, been, been demolished basically, but obviously the scenery is still there. We'll ignore that. We're we'll straight on to Alpha here. I don't think anyone's actually landing, imagine that. No, it's just us three. Cool. Apparently it's a 777-200. You know what, that could be James, and that could be re the reason why his strobes aren't on, I don't know. Right, land the lights on, tax light off, strobe light on, and uh, with the radar on. And uh, we'll go and get the two gas and TAI. And uh, Russia traffic, speed road 2062, taking off from the 14 Russia traffic. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> Alright, cabin are ready. That's good. So, uh, everyone is all ready, set to go. We just need to uh, give us the biggest space we can for our alpha departure. Alpha intersection departure. Uh, have I initialized flight uh, on here? No, let's go and do that. Uh, let me tell the chance as well. Oh, I put the brake on instead of. The, uh, the rudder. Let's get moving. There we go. Round we go. We're all waiting for me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Start the timer. Bring in some power. Set Toga. Oh, I need to arm oh, another beat now, but we'll do that once we're in the air. Cause... There we go. Thrust set. Almost basically max Toga. And uh, that sounds beautiful. That also sounds beautiful. A little spinner bug there, but hey ho. 80 knots. Rotate. 
about 10 degrees, we're going to hold it until we're properly off the air because otherwise we'll get a tail strike. There we go. Gear up. Put it on now, put it on now. Okay, just add for now. Let's wait for a bit higher until we're back in the air. Uh, uh, VNF. Pitch up a bit more. 20 degrees, 20 degrees. Crazy. Wow. Trying to keep it a bit stable there. Definitely powering it out a bit. Let's go and get the uh, the Vina bomb now. Auto pilot. And there we go. We're gonna go down to climb first now. Pitching it down. Turbulence. Okey uh, Oh, that's four thousand feet. So let's go and set uh, three, four, zero. Uh, progress page on that FMC. Okay. Speed's a little low. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get it back up again. Set like standard pressure now we're passing 4K. Yeah. Okay, it is climbing a little bit. But not as fast as I really wanted to. Which is annoying because uh, hopefully these guys don't come in contact with me. I still see them down on the ground, that's awesome. It's nice that they let me go first. <laughs> right, that's a flat 5 debug speed. We'll wait until the flat 1 debug speed, which will then set flat 1, of course. And I'll bring the uh, heading round. See you now. Both sides. Russian traffic guy, uh, two branches, two seven zero heavy. They can go from the four right at uh, one four, sorry. Um, Russian traffic, see ya. We are definitely heavy. <laughs> we are definitely heavy. This is crazy. I just realized, look at that. Seven tons of fuel for arrival. Actually, not too bad. I just did an American Airlines flight, which is, which will be uploaded before this video will come out. Um, obviously, I was like, flying with pounds, so actually, that's not too bad. Seven tons of fuel. Off the FBs. Right, flat one. And we'll bring out the checklist because we'll be uh, getting that ticked off very soon. And by the looks of it, we're not restricted on the speed, are we? No, I think that's our flat restriction there. There we go, now, we're now flat one, we can go up all the way now. That is awesome. Oh, I can see Addy is just about to rotate there. He's in the air. That's awesome. I think he just made it there. That's all. He's just about made it. Right, flat all the way up. Oh no, we've already done that. Whoopsies. <laughs> um, right. I'll take a checklist complete. And look at that, there is someone coming in to land. There's a. Um, uh, oh, well, I don't know what airline that is. I don't know what airline that is. But I hope the other guys realise that there is someone coming in to land. He's at, he's at um, 1,500, and Ollie is just lined up on the runway. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It doesn't look like it's really lined up the runway though, because obviously this dotted white line is the runway. Unless he's doing some VOR, but he's in the 737. <laughs> yeah, very slow climb. Wow, this is amazing. This is so realistic. The 200 ER, in comparison to the 200 LR, the power does not, does not match. G90s of these road races. He says he's descending, yet yeah. were my calculations or were my calculations just wrong? I don't know. I'll just realise this is plus. I thought it said a minus. Okay. Now he's now I'm just gonna pass the same altitude as him. Ah, okay. I should have read that. <laughs> There's 9k. Yeah, so what's he doing that high up at that altitude, uh, near that airport? Maybe he's just doing like a. It's like flying over and coming back round 3 2. Or I think. Is it 3 2? Yeah. 
Let's just get this over the other side of the This is, um, what's it called? Photo. Well, I guess it's a bit. Yeah, it's photo real. The FSDG scenery, which is why these lights are like that. And then every now and then you can see the black marble lights. Alright, right, there's 10 gates, so land the lights off. And turn us off. Typically they'll turn off the local light, but because there's uh, cinematics uh, later on, we'll uh, keep it on. And we'll zoom out all the way on this side. This one notch down on this side. In fact, I'll zoom in a bit more. You can see Addy there. Yeah, everything is fine. Seems to have climbed a lot faster than I have, but we're not going to be climbing for very long at the moment because we need to get to 310 knots first, and that's a load of um, a load of weather. Traffic, two zero six eight heavy and the traffic. Hopefully, uh, it's just because we're at 10,000 feet, but we won't have it at the cruise, <laughs> which is actually if I zoom in once more, that's our top of climb there. I wait for the weather radar to come through. We might hit some bad weather initially, and hopefully, yeah, look at that. We will probably, maybe hit some bad weather first. Ah, there we go. And then, um... Well, maybe not. Because obviously we're not, tunnel climb isn't before, it. it's way after. So we'll have to go through some sort of bad weather, for sure. I think it just felt a little bounce there. Uh, stars, went through the clouds. Alright, uh, I think there's no point keeping you waiting for nothing, because we've done basically everything uh, for the rest of the flight, <laughs> except turn off the seatbelt signs and monitor the flight, uh, however I might not be monitoring the flight, because I will go and uh, have a nice little sleep sleep, uh, <laughs> because I don't want to do a 12 hour, 12 hour flight overnight, it will just be a bit crazy. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, will enjoy these cinematics upcoming. I, uh, I probably won't be able to get a sunrise uh, cinematic. It'll probably just be the night time and, um, and daytime, but I might be able to like, time a cinematic or something to show it off. Who knows? But yeah, arrival time planned uh, is 0809 Zulu. Nice and early in the morning, so I'm just make sure I wake up pretty early and make sure I do wake up and miss the alarm, because that would be a laugh. Just about here, James still, about to say he's about to take off, just about. This comes out of, uh, out of range. I'm just going to set that like so. Just come around. So yeah, I'll see you in the arrival into Gatwick. Nice daytime arrival. Uh, enjoy the cinematics and bye bye.
Hello guys, welcome back into the descent into London Gatwick. We've been flying for 11 hours and uh, 15 minutes. And uh, just passing 140, the reason why I come back so uh, so low into the approach, into the arrival even, is because of the Gatwick arrival. It just gets you down low and early for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> There's no way to see them online, which can't um, shorten our arrival though. Uh, there is ATC in terms of Gatwick for ground, um, so we're going to have some ground uh, ATC online. I believe this is uh, part of the crew behind us here. Um, that's Addy and Ollie, and then James is back there somewhere. Um, so they're not too far away, but they are some distance away, which is annoying. But we've actually kept our, like, Formation, I guess you'd be saying, because I departed first, then Addy, then Ollie, then James. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to bring this down to like 4,000 feet, because that's what we need to be at. Mayf uh, May Is it Mayfield? I believe it's Mayfield that way, but then, yeah. And uh, talking about arrivals, we are currently on the Timber, no, not, not Timber, the Kunav, the Kunav uh, One Gulf arrival, which transitions at Timber into the ILS 408 right. Weather-wise, um, not the best. It's four degrees Celsius, zero four zero at seven knots, and the visibility is uh, just under 2,000 meters. So, not very nice. Uh, but Q&H, we can go and set that ready, which is 1029, uh, if I can get that to work. There we go. So 1029 for the Q&H. And uh, yeah, so visibility is just not very nice. In fact, it's 1,600 meters. Um, clouds down at 400 feet. Which brings me back to a previous time when I last did a flight from Russia to Gawick, which is when I decided to not use any autopilot and the aircraft decided to smash into the ground, um, which was not good. This time, we will be keeping the autopilot in for a lot longer. And uh, in case the weather gets any worse, we will be planning a Cat 2 arrival if if it gets any worse. Um, which then means we need to go and set uh, the Barrow to 296, which is 100 feet above the ground. 296, like so. So that'll be our Cat 2 approach. Just in case weather gets worse, which it shouldn't, which it shouldn't, because obviously time is progressing onwards throughout the day and it gets hotter and uh, mist slash fog will clear away. There's 10,000 feet, so we'll get the ladder lights on, the turn-offs. And uh, yeah, weather should progress uh, better instead of worse, I hope. <laughs> right, yeah, i got the seatbelt signs on, I need to go and do this down the checklist. So recall has been checked, notes, nothing, auto break. We're going to be using auto break 1, we want to vacate towards the end of the runway. If I go to the terminal charts here. And, uh, Gatwick. Uh, what? Do I need to go and... Uh... There was an update to um, to the aircraft when I was flying. Uh, what the hell? When I was flying, when I was in the cruise, uh, I don't think that would cause it to like do anything. That's weird. I wonder if I can go and re-log myself back in. Um, if I go to my account on the. I click sign out. Okay, now I'm signed out. Would it ask me to re-log in? No, I think to restart my flight. Okay, I can't show the charts today. That's annoying. We will be we will be able to do this though. We'll do show landing and show on the route. Um, cabin are ready for landing. That's good. Uh, but yeah, Autopilot one. We'll be vacating towards the end of the runway. Um, and I don't know if you can hear me. rather in the background, getting a bit noisy in the morning. I've got a bit of speed breakout, not actually. Now we've got a bit of speed breakout. And uh, that just gives enough drag to start us back down. Um, so, yeah, auto break one. Landing data. So, VREF, apparently, I was told 
via Violi, which is this guy here. The BA only used flap 25. They never, they never use flap 30. Um, so we're going to be doing a flap for 25 today. Um, if he is wrong and therefore I am wrong, please blame him and not me. <laughs> um, so yeah, VREP is 135, flap 25, so our approach speed will be 140. And that's the approach speed we complete. Altimeters are not set. To be fair, we just passed 7,000 feet, which is typically the transition altitude uh, level, even. Yeah, let's go and set QNH. 1029er. So that can tick off. And, uh, oh, that's weird, like, unticked itself. And then, this is the landing checklist. Which obviously doesn't concern us until a lot later on into the, uh, into the flight. Right, let's zoom in. On that side. Alright. Don't know why our speed's crept up so much. It's fine. We could just go and flight level change. I'm just going to flight level change to 40 knots. Because I don't want to be at Mayfield at 4k. <laughs> Rather, just hit the uh, last at waiting at 3,000 feet than that, whatever. You can just about see like a cloud layer or something. I think that's a cloud layer. Which we're about to go into. Oh dear. This isn't going to be good. It's going to be foggy. It's going to be fun. I'm not too sure. I, I hope this, like I said, there was a PMDG fix that re released overnight. And I hope that this is fixed. <laughs> it's really weird. Really weird. If I go to FS Actions, then what is it? Cabin lights. If I go to full, then it fixes itself. <laughs> but when they're off, for some reason, it's completely dark. Oh, whatever. They're not off. Really weird, really weird. Uh, ah, there's a fault, and I'm guessing that's because of Navigraph, I like, logged out of itself. Um, but let's get to wait and balance. A read from aircraft, and complete. Condition is, uh, well, in terms of the runway condition, the runway condition is fine. I would say it's, it's just the approach condition is bad. So the runway condition is fine. We'll just put good slash medium. Because there could be like, uh, you know, rain on the runway. Um, so zero four zero at seven knots, four degrees Celsius, and uh, one zero two nine. And all operational, flat twenty five, anti um, anti ice, air conditioning on, auto, and anti ice and auto brakes, auto one, one normal, nothing. Flat play. So yeah, we've got 3,000 meters of runway from the touchdown zone. The actual runway length, full runway length is 3,316. There's 4,000 feet, we're just going to set 3,000 to put the, uh, the VNAV on there. Now, and, um, and we'll be using 2,000 basically for our deceleration, which is good because we want to vacate towards the end um, for a shorter taxi, so that's fine. And turn it off because we know that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so I'd probably restart the flight. I just hope it's just because an update was uh, pushed and not. It, it, uh, hopefully it's not a bug. Okay. So we set the heading, heading there. Awesome. And uh, this is a really slow part of the uh, descent. Literally, what, 100, 200 feet per minute? <laughs> really bad. We're at 220 knots, which gives us the, uh, gives the other guys time to catch up, which would be nice. Luckily, they're not too close that we crash into each other. They're nice to pile up, which would be bad. This is quite cool. I think I might do some of these, like, like again, like announcing Discord or something, and you know, say, recording a video. On that sim, if you want to come and join, be a, get a shout out or something in the video, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> You'd be able to fly with me and be in a video, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, decided to go into the first office of some reason. <laughs> a few, okay. Uh, I think I might just skip the video, 
because literally there's nothing to do at the moment other than wait until we reach that next waypoint there's nothing to do so i'll see you in just a moment okay welcome back and uh, we're at 3,000 feet we're about to do that right hand turn and we'll be at 3,000 feet for a bit longer so we'll just keep ourselves at 220 knots for now uh, we'll put it, put that in like locked in and we'll bring out flat one Should we go flat five because you know how long that takes to uh, to come out. So we'll bring out flat five. We'll go 210 knots just a little bit, not too close to the uh, over speeding there. There's our right hand turn, and I just saw someone come into land, which is pretty cool. So we're next, and I will go and get the approach armed. So if we catch the local lines nice and early, it's all good. Oh, I can just about to see the ground down there. Weather has got a little bit better. Um, it's 1800 meters now. Uh, visibility, but clouds down to uh, 400 feet. So it's still not great, but it's better. <laughs> so there you go. I can see that guy. Oh, he's just coming off the tea gas now, so that's cool. And I believe that must be Addy then, then, right there. And then Ollie, I'm guessing. Awesome. And then James must be some, some distance away. <laughs> Oof. Okay, let's slow ourselves down before the glide step gets here, so 180 knots. And, uh,. Let's just say Gatwick, we're ready for, uh, well, we're not ready, we're uh, on the RLS. Gatwick traffic, speedbird 2062, uh, on the RLS, uh, 0, 8 to right, 12 miles. Cool. That's just, this visibility there. Horrendous. <laughs> At least it's daytime and not night time. Right, there's a glass slope. Down we go. Final approach. Right, let's go. Let's go and tune the ground frequency just now. Uh, one, two, one, eight. Radio altimeter. What does it say? What does that mean? I forgot it. Oh yeah, it means that you're just coming to 2,500 feet from the ground. Um, so yes, ground frequency ready. Once you want this away. And uh, you know what? Let's go and say flat 50. And we'll just set 140 now. I'm just going past uh, 8 miles to go. Crop this idle all the way down, if it can at all. <laughs> if not, which I don't think it is, we're in gear down. It's got a nice uh, exterior view there. The animations are so, so smooth there. So much more smooth. Is the correct English? I don't know. Than, uh, than before. Beautiful there. Foggy though. <laughs> Okay, there's the speed coming down, which is good. Obviously, you'll be keeping in the uh, the approach there until, uh, or even the uh, the autopilot even until we until we see the runway, which could be pretty late. About twenty. We're on the speed break as well. Twenty-five. It's flat thirty. Awesome. Right, land three. I don't want to auto land this because it could be a harsh landing. Not hard, hard, but harsh. <laughs> One thousand. But it wasn't. Okay. Oh no, we're doing flat twenty five, what am I doing? Ah. <laughs> Retract the flaps. And see, uh, Ollie's gonna be mad at me now. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Flat 25. Oh. I need to remember that. If it is true, then that's awesome. Because I like it. But they do different things. Okay, we can see the ground, but no, uh, no runway yet. Annoyingly, I don't think the senior would turn on its like runway lights because obviously I rather would turn on the runway lights in fog. But I don't think the senior knows if if fog turn on lights. So uh, that's annoying. We're approaching our minimums. Still can't see the runway. I see, I can see where the lights should be. Ah, I see the runway. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. Autopilot's out. Fifty above. In we come. Decide. Continue. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. And touchdown. Wow, that was nice. Bring the nose down. No hurry for uh, any reverses just yet. And uh, minimum reverse. Right, reverses can come in, and we're just going manual braking. We'll just roll out until uh, until Bravo Romeo. That's Charlie Romeo just there on the right. Here we go, Bravo Romeo. Let's put on the brakes. Gatwick traffic, uh, speedboat 2062, vacating Bravo Romeo, it's uh, Gatwick traffic. Okay, reset that, go on to ground frequency, and uh, let's get ready for our taxi instructions. Uh, Gatwick ground, speedboat 2062, it's vacated Bravo Romeo. 2062, Gatwick ground, hello, welcome to Gatwick taxi, straight ahead, Papa, straight ahead, November, right kilo, stand one. Uh, straight ahead, November, right kilo, and then was it 1 5, speedway 2060? Negative 1 7. 1 7, speedway 2060. Okay, alright, let's set all that up. And uh, this is November here. And um, what I want to do is set two guys to standby, weather radar off, and uh, set flight time there. Flat coming up. 11 hours 36, actually a lot faster than we uh, had expected. Flight director's off, two break in. Cool. Alright, 1-7. Kate. Ah, no, we need to go to uh, the south terminal and then select 1-7. Handling by British Airways, awesome! So Addy will be coming in soon, sadly we can't actually see him coming to land because <laughs> it's so foggy. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so here's Kilo up ahead here. So I'll take it right there. Uh, Auto Autobrain needs to go off. Yeah. Okay. That was awesome. That was a really interesting landing, obviously. It was a blooming greaser, uh, which is awesome. Trying to taxi at a nice rate. 10 knots. Yeah, this is the Genesoft Gatwick Senior, which is amazing. People say it's very inaccurate, but to be fair, I prefer... Well, I mean, it is accurate to a degree. I mean, obviously, <laughs> they've made Gatwick, but people are a bit touchy about the type of concrete and whatnot, but I'm happy that it's way much more detailed than, um, than UK 2000. There's one seven over there, I can see GSX all set up, ready to go. So yeah, the senior's amazing. It's got its quirks, but like... I like it. No, I was not paid to say that. <laughs> I hope, like I said, there was an update release. I hope they fixed the, um, the engine spinning bug 
is like I think when you hit Toga, it just stops spinning at any point. This is really annoying. I think the passengers are thinking this is the slowest taxi ever in the world. <laughs> I'll check the Volanta, probably see if uh, Addy's landed yet. Yeah, he's just touched down. James is just lining up for the runway now. Okay, if I, can shoot, I can show you the, uh, the map here. It's me, Addy, Ollie, and James back there. Cool. Here we are, 1 7. So tax light off, turn offs off, and uh, the EP should be running, which it is. Good. Ah, got no safe gate or marshaller. Interesting. I have to use the outside view then. Oh well. There's the line. There it is. Very loud. Loving that actually. <laughs> Luckily, I turned down the sim body if you want. Is this cheating? <laughs> okay, we'll get to this final, this uh, second to last start there. Cool. Parker brake set, AP's running, so engines can shut down. And there we are. We're finally safe on the ground at London Gatwick. See bar signs off. Wait for the engine to shut down a bit longer. And we'll go back below 10 and 1. And the beacon light off. And we're going with Questy boarding. Get the jetways to two left. And uh, hydraulics off. And those off as well. Fuel pumps off. And uh, if we go down here, we can go to the, uh, the doors page. And disarm all doors. Open up the cargo doors. Ground connections, set the trucks, bring in the power, and I'll just wait until I uh, to open the other door, which will be soon. Jetway's not moving, so I'll open it up there. Cool. Looks in the power, if you can go off, packs, bring them off from auto. We should be able to go and, yeah. Air conditioning unit can be requested now. Awesome, I can hear Addy. There he is. Let's go and set um, that to off. So 11 hours and 50 minutes on the block. Awesome. So here's Addy. He's going to be passing us. He's parking at 1 3. So that's actually the very end one. That's cool. Annoyingly enough, he's got GE engines from the model matching. I'm pretty sure he is flying well. Yeah, he's flying well as well. So oh, I think that's Ollie. I don't hear him though. Does he just f doesn't realise there's ATC? Well. Two six two Quebec Gatwick. No, I think he doesn't know there's ATC in line. <laughs> I'll just message him in Discord. Of course. Super 262 Quebec Gap Ground. Let's go back outside view. This is nice Norwegian 737 over there. Car Ground 262 Quebec Ground, like on town, fast and 13 on. No, Addy's got 13. Super 262 Quebec, just in future, please can you contact me when vacated runway 08 right? And you can taxi stand to 1 crush 19 kilo. 19 by kilo, Super 262 Quebec and we're alive. And uh, there's an ETJ over there. There's a, oh, it's a CRJ. I'm guessing this kind of stuff is. Uh... Oh, it's a Virgin 445. Okay, I don't think I've installed that airline. I thought it must be why it's uh, like that. And it's a whiz. So James is still yet to land into Gatwick now. He's literally about to touch down. Um, Addy's still making a heck of a noise. 
<laughs> oh, the one I'm matching is given Ollie some uh, Royce voices. He's on um, UK 2000 scenery, which is probably why it looks like he's not actually on the taxi line. It's going a bit fast, I assume he should be slowing down for 1 9. <laughs> but uh, can we see James? No is the answer to that. <laughs> is that. I can just see some sort of PBR or light there. I hope that's his light, light because that's high up from the one. Is that? What is that? I can't tell. Ah, no, that's that's the disused runway. So yeah, that is his light. Ah, I can start to see him come through. Oh, that's awesome. You're just about to see him come through. That's amazing. Right. Sadly, I think it'll take a while to come come all the way over here and there's no point waiting so uh... maybe I'll skip the video and say goodbye from all of the <laughs> when they're all parked up but it'll be a while so uh... yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video, the little group flight hope you I hope he doesn't get angry for the uh, <laughs> ending and it's so early but um... it was me in the 757 before I will uh, Test with the 757 again to see if the radio is working. Yeah. I thought that was James talking then. Um, and good morning, uh, Gary Grant. Yeah, yeah, I hope he doesn't hate me for ending uh, before he gets here. But um, I think I need to Grant. set my as a setting. One via Charlie Juliet Upper. Oh, he's not coming to one five. And T1 by Charlie. I think there's a setting Upper for um. Kilo. Yeah, there is. There's a setting for Sos. I must have because I reinstalled my PC. I need to retick it. Basically. It, it allows so when it recognizes an AI model is like got engines shut down. It will um it will bring a jetway over, like sewed a so jetway to its door, which is amazing, but obviously I need to go and turn that setting back on Ollie being a noob with UK two thousand there. Um <laughs> so yeah, sadly, James will take a while, so we will not be waiting for him. Hope you guys enjoyed the little group flight. I will have to do one of these again. I'm not too sure when. Uh, just jo go and join my Discord. I think I've got a link below my dis for my Discord. If not, I'll be in the website. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all next time. And bye bye.